Okay, let's sidestep uh, learning SpriteKit for just one more video. Of course, uh, if you already are familiar with developing with Xcode, you can uh, skip this next part and just go straight into SpriteKit. But uh, if, uh, if you're new here and you want to install your application on your device, as you probably do want to, uh, you're going to need to get signed up as a registered developer. And uh, once you've paid Apple that... Uh, a $99 yearly fee you're gonna get access to the uh, the dev center and also uh, iTunes connect which is where you're gonna manage your applications and uh, basically fill in all the details prior to uploading your apps but uh, your dev center is where you're going to uh, get new versions of um, Xcode uh, sample code documentation all sorts of stuff like that and uh, important to us right now is gonna be these certificates identifiers and profiles so click on that and you're an iOS developer so go over here to your certificates and this will actually take you to certificates identifiers devices and provisioning profiles and a lot of what we're doing in here can actually be done from within Xcode if you go over here to the organizer window and what you'll need to pay attention to is just some of the um, the prompts down here so for example if you plug in a device um, and you want to use it as a testing device right could do something here but you can also just do it simpler way through organizer and click on for example add to a member center and uh, to add this device select the development team da, 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 and just click choose I don't need to do that because I've already done that so there's a there's a couple ways of, of doing pretty much everything but uh, let's kind of go through things here in order you're gonna need to get a development certificate and also a uh, production or distribution um, certificate and it's kind of funny actually that they have development here and production right here and then they have development and distribution right here just consider distribution and production uh, synonymous you're gonna use um, either that certificate or I mean you're gonna use that certificate and you're gonna use that profile uh, when you give your application to Apple that's the one that you have kind of officially signed with your credentials and that's going to be the app that gets released in the, so the store otherwise when you're just developing things when you're using your development certificate and your development profile that's just you playing around installing it onto your um, device and testing it and things like that okay so you they do differentiate differentiate between the two certificates kind of annoying I think but uh, I'm sure they have their reason and um, you're going to need uh, to deal with both of them so um, I don't actually have a, <laughs> a valid production certificate right now because these things expire way too soon. It's always like a year or something like that, and a year goes by quick. I wish there was like some sort of 10-year certificate, but it just doesn't exist. Uh, so actually, at the time, I've uh, all my uh, distribu or my production certificates or distribution ones have uh, have uh, run dry, and um, I'm now back at the start from scratch scene here so uh, you can read through this and it's gonna say that um, you can uh, request the certificate from um, Xcode's organizer or you can also you can go through this and uh, request or upload a certificate signing request and um, Apple I'm sure has the instructions to do that um, all through here okay so just follow those prompts or go th again through uh, organizer but just realize that you are gonna need a certificate for both development and production slash distribution uh, let's skip down here to uh, app IDs and this ID is the same as the one that you were seeing over here under bundle identifier alright so uh, when you go and uh, create an actual app you need to have a uh, specific app ID it needs to match whatever you have um, created over here so when you're um, I could click that little plus sign. So whenever you register a new app ID, you're going to throw in, um, or you're going to put in here, you know, com dot your domain dot your app name, and then uh, for app prefix, uh, just go with uh, your team ID. I don't think I've ever done anything different than that. And then um, app ID suffix. Uh, I've um, I've actually never encountered this. <laughs> Uh, I would say it's uh, probably you don't need to put anything in there and then um, for app services if there's um, something that let's see and these are related again you probably want to leave these checked off right here and then if you're just making a game a game I don't think you want to deal with passbook or iCloud 
more data protection. So you can probably just go over here and uh, click on continue. And um, basically at that point you'll have your I app ID. And then when you are creating your uh, provisioning profiles, so let's cut down here, um, your profiles actually have that um, identifier in there, there. So if I were to make this screen a little bit bigger, let's see. Yeah, you'd start to see that there are your um, your app IDs for everything. And obviously, again, like I was saying before, mine are constantly running invalid or expiring. And uh, I only have one active right now, which is my team provisioning profile. And I can use that for um, this little wild card, this star right here. I can use my team provisioning profile for just testing about you know anything inside of here. I don't have to... Um, put in a specific uh, bundle ID for that. So uh, if you go over here to your build settings, it should just be automatic, but uh, if you type in code signing and then pull down any of these, here's my just kind of regular team ID right there. So um, that would allow me to publish the game to my actual iPad and um, that is the iPad simulator this is my actual iPad it says Justin's iPad on there and of course that is plugged into my computer uh, so the, so these are my uh, development provisioning profiles and then you've got other ones uh, specifically for your um, distribution and again I've um, let everything kind of run dry with my distribution but if I had um, an app that uh, I was ready to uh, send to Apple then I'd want to go over here to release and again consider this synonymous with production or distribution and you're gonna want um, Apple to pick out your iOS distribution profile it should automatically do that um, the reason it's set to developer for me right now is because I, obviously I don't have a distribution profile in there at the moment so it's just gonna default to this one but it would not let me sign the application with my developer one. I'd have to go find or have to go install my uh, provisioning profile for distribution and um, you know click on either this or find it the specific one down here and uh, select it and then you would be good to go over here to uh, build for and or I guess just build and um, it would create that application and you might not be seeing this I haven't actually built a uh, signed development application in Xcode, but there was usually a build for archiving option over here. Or I guess actually maybe now you just go to archive and that'll create the actual app that you're going to send off um, to Apple. And again, if you're over here in your um, organizer, if uh, you plug in a device and it doesn't have the provisioning profiles that you have created over here in development or distribution, you can, um, there should be an option in here that um, says, well, when you go to add to member sender, it should bring in those those uh, profiles for you automatically. But uh, let's see, if you click on add, you can go and actually add them uh, from the file that, uh, or a file that you uh, downloaded over here. So for example, with one of my development ones, uh, I can go and actually download that. So that's, um, that's kind of the short of it in terms of um, working with your two uh, profile types and if you do that and you follow the uh, any other instructions you see on Apple's side uh, you should be a-okay to um, to test on your actual device okay now we can move on